Everybody, welcome back to D in Denial. Um, I'm Jessica. I go by I see Stars or D in Denial online, um, and I will be your shenanigan sovereign tonight. Uh, real quickly, I'm going to run you through the games that we have on the channel, and then I will give it to my girls. So, um, Monday nights we have the Iowan Adventures at 7:30 p.m. EST, DM'd by myself. Uh, Tuesday nights, we have State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign at 7.30 p.m. EST, GM'd by at Cuddlesworth, along with uh, Katie and myself. And I think next run, we will have Scarlet uh, on there. Uh, that's that's Hopefully. we're going to have to talk to. You have to teach uh, me how to play. About that. <laughs> oh, we don't he's even really, know. He's really, really good at uh, explaining stuff, but a lot of found the foundry will do a lot of that for you. He's put and everything in there. We also don't, don't know how to play the game. So no, I fine. have no clue. Uh, he just tells me what I have to roll and I roll it. Yep. Yep. I um, love it. I'm uh, playing Shadowrun for have... over a year now. No idea. No fucking clue. Uh, we have The Lost Continent at 8 p.m. EST DM'd by Mr. Markham. Friday nights, uh, we have The Legends of Kralis at 11 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and GM'd by Talarius Game Master. And obviously, tonight's on Saturdays, we have uh, The Moonstone Matriarchy. Uh, don't forget to follow our YouTube, our TikTok, all that fun stuff. And um, that's enough of me talking. Someone else talk. Hey, Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi. Hello. Hello. I look different tonight. Um, pretty. So, <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm Katie. I'm Dungeon Mrs. Katie on all, all the things. Um, as Jess said, I'm on here also on Tuesday nights and then on Wednesday nights. I'm on a Power Ranger stream, but we've changed the channel, so I don't know where I am on Wednesday nights, but I play Power Rangers on Wednesdays. Um, and I then Power Rangers. I do. <laughs> I've had to like. Uh, it's like the babyest, like, yeah. you know, like, on Wednesdays we play Power Rangers. And I know, do. I love it. I love it, though. It's so much fun. Um, <laughs> every other Wednesday. And then uh, when I'm not on the web, on the on the interwebs playing video game type things, not video games, whatever this is, live, live, live games, um, I am singing. Like, I will be the next two weekends. So I won't be here the next two weekends with these folks, but I will be singing. So it's good times. Oh, sorry. Uh, um, uh, uh, Scarlet. Hi. Uh, hi. Whoa. Tired. It's uh, been a long day. I am Scarlet. <laughs> hi. I am Scarlet. Sixty-four. Uh, I do a lot of TTRPG stuff on Twitch, Instagram, uh, TikTok. Uh, and I am running out of, I, I, if you want to watch me dungeon master, uh, 
every Sunday, which is tomorrow, I run an Out of the Abyss campaign. It's been going on for two years. It's pretty dope. Um, I'm also the mother of dessert dragons. So if you're looking for an adorable stocking stuffer, you can get my little dessert dragon stickers on my Etsy shop. Uh, like this is an example of one. Uh, it's a peppermint dragon. And it's here to guard your hot cocoa. Uh, so if you want a little stocking stuffer for your uh, family on Christmas, that is an idea that you can have. Uh, let's go to Star. Hi, I'm Star. Uh, I go by Star Mama C on TikTok. Everywhere else, I'm Characters Without Stories, which is the name of my podcast. And I interview people about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet. And I have a new episode with Bearded Inspiration. Uh, you should check it out because I have new cover art, new music, new intro. It's all brand new. Um, and uh, I'm going to head it over to uh, Mommy Kalik. Hi, I'm Mommy Kalik. You can find me absolutely nowhere on the interrupts except for Saturday nights. Um, that's it. That's all. Okay, so uh, who has who has our? It's, I think it's it's Celeste, right? Yes, you yeah. have. Yeah, take it away. All right. Okay, I'm not going to beat. Um, I'm not going to beat Revan's um voice acting. Um, but last time we learned some very important things. Most importantly, Sin was a lunette, and Rosalind has the best tits. Also, Sin is actually named Aurora. Del Delphra almost immediately Leroy Jenkins herself into the afterlife by kissing an angel. We rules lawyered her out of the underworld and Clover brought her back. Before the moon kite got a chance to take anyone else out, a mysterious voice gave us the password to deactivate it. That mysterious voice? Lady Lysandra. We find her imprisoned along with another priestess, Lady Orion, priestess of the new moon. Revelations aplenty. Trust is broken. Unsure who to trust, we put Lysandra and Orion into a get-along shirt and make our way back to the temple, where the most fearsome level 15 NPCs of the campaign have gathered. Will we antagonize ourselves into a TPK? Will the priestesses make an enemy of an enemy? Find out tonight on the Moonstone Matriarchy. That was really good. Listen, that was really good. An enemy that of an enemy so is amazing. <laughs> that sounded so professional. Okay, I love that so much. Um, right, okay, a get along so, shirt. <laughs> right? They that's had the cuffs. It's we get that along. That is what happened. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so you guys are you're in <laughs> you're in this room with a whole bunch of level 15 characters uh all of the priestesses and the crescent guardians which are the top tier the top tier guards that the that the palace has um commander diana has sent word to the palace for queen uh the queen of Salandria of all of solstitia to join you what Landria are you doing right now? in the country of Solstitia. Yeah. And the queen, by the way, her name is Selene, Sol Soliana. God, I can't even say my own names. Sol <laughs> Soliana. Sol Soliana. Sol Soliana. Soliana. Soliana of yeah. Solstitia in Solandria. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Yeah, and I'm the one who's <laughs> gonna have to say that. So. <laughs> okay, so we're awaiting her. Do they put us in a waiting place? No, you guys are in the same. Uh, you're in the temple, uh, in the uh waiting room in which you guys had had your first meeting with Lysandra. Uh, you have you, nobody's moved. Okay. Um, and they're not taking our two handcuffed bibs. They are not taking them anywhere. They have un uncuffed them. Oh, okay. Um, they've uncuffed them. Uh, they've healed them up. They've okay. healed our. They've healed Delphra up as well. You know, N nobody's getting like they're not vicious people. <laughs> We're not under arrest. Why am Why am I the only one being felt up? That's my question. Why were you healed? healed? Because you almost died oh, when you kissed a celestial. <laughs> no, not felt up. Healed okay. up. I heard healed. felt up, so I was like, whoa. <laughs> well, I mean, you were gently caressed by someone who cast calming emotions on you. Okay, no, that's not as exciting as being felt up, but that's okay. okay. I also <laughs> I mean, remember, I 
snuck Orion her things yes. to her. She has her she has her casting stuff as now as well, which yeah. may may hinder you or help you. You you don't know. Yeah, um, I'm I'm kind of like uh, uh, spaghettios. Um. <laughs> you Commander Dana returns and says. I've said word to the queen. God damn it. And as you hear her yell this at you for no reason, you hear a bunch of the priestesses kind of laugh a little bit under their breath. And Commander Diana turns to one priestess in particular, our elderly human, Priestess Selene. Turn that off! And you see her dispel a, a spell that she had just cast. And she goes, well, when when this looked like everybody's uh, all up in, you know, arms, and I thought maybe I should be paying attention. I can't heal you all, you all well, so I just cast a little thaumaturgy on you. And now- That's why she was so loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's so mad. Why are we mad? She takes her cane and walks over to the group finally, having stopped observing from the corner. But give me an insight check on Priestess Celine. I love her so much. I don't want to distrust her at all. Just a 15. Just a 15. What? Okay. Yeah, you know what? Oh, I really okay. Good, good. 20. Uh, 15 as well. 15. All right. Honestly, good enough to know that I, you don't think that Priestess Celine is probably as deaf as she's appearing to be right now or pretending to be. She's just messing around. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to be like, ah, young ones. <laughs> oh quiet you and as you say that you know she heard you so <laughs> I make the eye contact and I go like <laughs> uh, is there anything that you are doing as you wait for the queen to arrive trying um, not to piss off commander Diana any more than I already have scoping out yeah. exits I guess just kind of like glancing you have, there's an exit on each wall on all four walls are they there's one well that leads protected? to yeah well no well you, the thing is you know because you are in the room with a whole bunch of people that are like <laughs> yeah run yeah run. I'm just 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 looking around you know you, you're scoping the place mm -hmm. uh one of them leads to a room um a place the place where you prayed before you went out on your on your uh first journey the epilogue of this all epilogue prelogue pro prologue the, prologue? the epilogue, epilogue of the prologue <laughs> oh Anyways. i i want to know i would like to do an insight on uh lysandra and orion i want to know if lysandra is like happy about this or nervous about this and also like orion is she happy about this or nervous about this the queen arriving Lysandra yeah. is looking like this this is probably the best option okay um and Orion strangely enough looks like she's awaiting the queen as well okay uh is there a so where I could take a seat <laughs> you, just, you just pop a squat um no this is a big open room unfortunately this is would be where they held like uh ceremonies and um and okay. Yeah. Then I will just like very calmly and like distinguishedly sit, stand, like, you know, do, do like one of these and just not give away any just facial Just fold expressions. your hands and wait. Yeah. Uh, just like mm. after no. kind of sitting on the floor. Don't with, pop pops a squat. Like, but like at the same time, like at the same time, summoning Quartzly and like him curling around me. When the queen enters, I'll like slowly stand up. All right. Quartzly, Quartzly, Quartzly has um his 
like his nine tails wrapped around you so that you are just completely encased in them. And anytime he notices a different one of uh, the other, not your party in looking at you in this room, the other people in this room looking at you, uh, one of his tails will come up and just block them because he doesn't appreciate the glares that they might be looking or the weird looks that are happening right now because this is a, a tense situation and he's not having it. He's not okay. He doesn't like it and and you're in danger so he doesn't he's just like you can't see her if you can't see me i am invisible it sounds like yeah that is what he's doing <laughs> to you right now um i can't see you scarlet where'd you go i'm invisible <laughs> i cast invisibility <laughs> <laughs> you cast invisibility and it's just me everyone's this. like she's gone <laughs> <laughs> um it takes a it takes less time than you would expect. With under five minutes, the queen has arrived. Oh, damn. You hear Hope they didn't wake her. <laughs> you hear guards coming as she walks in. Queen Soliana is the epitome of Alvin Grace. She has a poise that like commands the room without even a word as she walks in. Uh, her blonde hair kind of cascades down her back as like silken threads. Um, she's got flowers that are still, uh, woven into the, her hair. So if she was asleep, either she sleeps like this or she got dressed in like seconds. Um, you know, her presence is both very, you notice a lot of the, uh, priestesses almost relax a second as like the queen walks in. It's very soothing. Um, but she looks around and you hear, what? Someone explain to me why I've been called. And she looks around the room and her eyes land on Lady Orion. And she, her eyes land on Lady Lysandra and she goes, you've been found. Blessed, blessed be Luna. And she looks at Lady Orion again and goes, I'm not entirely sure why you're here. And looks confused, as if she doesn't know this woman. Do we know how long she's been the queen? Let's say she has been the queen. This is her first husband. Let's, she is naive enough that she has married a human as an elf. <laughs> let's let's just say that way. This is her first husband. She's naive enough and has not got, and has not lost her first husband yet. Okay. So she's quite young, especially as a ruler, especially for, I mean, an elven ruler at that. Her mother is still alive. The Queen Mother, uh, Alora, is still alive, but she is not here. She's vacationed off to the coast. And was has she been the there queen for quite before? some years. She was, was she like so so she just like abdicated, like I'm retiring, my daughter's yes, now the queen. I've had enough. I've uh, done enough. It is your turn. Gotcha. Retirement. <laughs> Yes, retirement. Uh, does anyone want to fill her in, or are we going to let? I, I feel like I, I don't think Sin feels like she has the authority to even address the queen unless spoken to, and that that is uh, Lysandra's job, or or even like anybody who is at higher rank. Sin is not of high enough station to even look the queen in the eyes. Um, you you do see that. Uh commander diana is the one who leans in and starts to talk to her in her ear and you you hear the snippets of uh we found Lysand lysandra was found by you know this group of sisters the ones who lost the moonstone and gave it to nixan uh nixaria then and like you, you were where she was where orion was found how they were found all of that is passed to the queen before she looks around and says, I see. 
Please hold. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I would like to point out the fact that we did not just give the Moonstone to Nyx Arya. It's not like we were like, here, Nyx, here's the Moonstone. We just want you to have it now. We didn't fucking know. And it, it, it was the, and it was the cat. The cat did it. And so if the cat did it, we know we didn't know. Because the cat is the purest of us all. That's what you hear from your poor little clover kitty as she's huddled in Anemone's arms. Yeah, I'm gonna clear I'm my throat. Throwing, I'm not throwing the cat under the bus. I'm just saying, like, if if our cat did it, I I don't mean that like our house cat. I mean like if 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 our amazing kitty lovely person did it, th- then you know that we didn't do it on purpose. Uh, Sid will clear her throat. Nick the Queen's Sario, eyes land on you. I like lower my eyes respectfully. Nixaria had taken the guise of Lady Lysandra, who that part you can confirm had been missing around the same time that we handed over the moonstone. I believe she was impersonating her after imprisoning her with he us. her prisoner her prisoner high priestess orion of the new moon is what your title was and i say that very loudly so that everyone in the room can hear and uh, orion looks at you she's you see her taking you in like fully like looking you up and down to just calculate like a calculating look and she goes indeed it was And the queen looks at Lady Orion and she goes, I'm sorry, but I don't think I know who you are. Lysandra seems to know who she is. Uh, Lysandra, would you please tell everyone what you told us when we found you in the cage that you had created for Lady Orion? Of course, Sin. Of course I will. And she looks at the queen and goes, Some years ago, when I had first become high priestess, I received a... I received word from Luna herself that we were to remove Nixaria from the Doctrine. Your mother, I believe, was the one who actually declared that it would be done. So we have been, we had removed it. It took us about, I'd say, 200 years to completely remove it without alerting our former high priestess, Lady Orion, who is unfortunately... A worshipper of Nixandra. Nixandra. Nixoria. Nixandra. I'm just like butchering them together. And the queen looks at her and goes, I see. And how exactly did she end up a prisoner? Well, your mother ordered her removed. And instead of killing her, I locked her away, for she would not leave. You see a moment of just... Give me, actually, give me insight on the group that you are with right now. Because everybody, a lot of these uh, priestesses are hearing this for the first time. 20. 20. Jesus! Me and Delphra, our ears are like that one. <laughs> Roll that wild magic. I mean, too bad you weren't casting something. You haven't rolled one in, in so long. I haven't. No. So, our with our twenties, a lot of the priestesses are are very. They can't believe that this is is a thing that has happened. This is not what. This is not what we stand for here at this temple. This is not what Salandria is for. This we help people. We don't we don't we don't hurt them. And 
if this is true, and uh, it is uh, true because you see, you can see that there are priestesses that remember her. There are pri priestesses that look hurt that this has happened, that this was someone that they very much thought of as a sister. Um, they don't, it's a very divided room. They're not entirely sure what to do in this situation. All of the guards, however, look like they have never heard this information before. That they are, that none of them know what this, that this is something that has happened. This is almost shaking their faith in what they serve. Except for Commander, who looks like it doesn't matter. Either way, she'll do her job because her job is not to the priestesses. It's to Salandria. It's to the crown. I serve Wakanda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have anything that you want to ask in this moment or say in this moment? I'm looking at the queen uh to see because it's still like we never truly got like anyone can just say i had a vision like like the is the fact does does lysandra like is she like the prophet does she regularly get to directly commune with luna and what she says is what goes is that kind of how we as do as far things? as you're aware yes that is how okay. it works she's okay. the only one that is mainly here's the thing do god spend a lot of time talking to people here probably not has it happened before yes okay would but... it happen has it happened the most to anyone who has been a high priestess definitely okay so that's not that's not sketchy i mean scarlet thinks that's sketchy but sin i think wouldn't would think that to be the norm but sh i think she would just still do you want to roll um do you want to roll an inside check on lissandra to see if you can see whether or not she's telling the truth about what she's been I mean, saying last week i did that and maybe i misunderstood you but it sounded like you said she with my high insight role that she totally believed what she said um mm -hmm. so i think sin would just kind of look at her directly and instead of like so far she's been speaking so that the whole room could hear her but i think this time she's just speaking to lissandra and she just goes why why would why would half of an entire doctrine need to be removed why um at this moment like delpha just kind of like kneels down and cuddles into quartzly thinking like if only we could actually know the truth from luna and just starts praying while all this is going on you're praying to luna as mm -hmm. this is happening like basically being like, did this Make happen? Your religion check. Not twenty. <laughs> oh. Okay, so divine intervention. As all of this is happening, Delphra, you kneel down, and you're you're shaken. This is a woman that has. She found you in the forest she found you she brought you here she helped bring you back to health she's your mother in a sense and how could she be like this she she's been nothing but honest with you your entire life here you kneel down and you pray and you reach out to luna and you heart wrenching prayers of just i need the truth i just need to know the truth a silver light begins to almost emanate from where you are your hands are clutched you are praying and spreads throughout the room a circle is drawn and everyone needs to make me, I believe it's a charisma saving throw. I'm about to look up for a spell. Hang on. Uh oh. I do. I thought uh -oh. it was good. Hang on. <laughs> uh oh. 
It is a charisma oh, saving throw. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Oh, bad. Oh, I have oh. great charisma, but I rolled a two, so I got a four. All right. I rolled oh. a nat one. A nat one? Oh, okay. no. And I have no modifiers, so it's just a one. Okay. Uh, Delphra? 16. 16. Okay. And Kathy? Uh, 18. 18. Yeah. Let We're me make die. some rolls here. We're going to die. For everyone else in this room. Hang on. All I can think, I, I've had two things pop into my head just now. I don't know why, but when she asked uh, to roll an insight, I heard, do you want to roll for insight? <laughs> and, then, and then just okay. now, it's a circle of light. It's just how my brain apparently is working today. <laughs> Cappy As- is like, oh my god! I used to be, I used to have this power that would let me change things for my friends, and now I don't have this anymore. A Looking little bit of my frustration sheet, yeah, takes over Cappy, um, <laughs> and all of you fail this save. Everyone in this room fails this save. All of us, all of An you. Eighteen, and eighteen fails the 18? save. Oh, I hate this. Ask a question. Are we fucked? I mean, who can say? (laughs) Delphra, ask a question. Great, guys. Like, I honestly can't win. Who, somebody, what what is it that you were asking before this happened? Before Delphra prayed? Because I blanked out there. Uh, Scarlet. You wanted to know. I'm not the one praying. No. Delphra is praying. before. She asked oh. for truth. You had a question that you wanted answered before. Why? Why would why would uh, Luna do, tell you this? For what reason? You asked her that. So Lysandra looks at you and she goes, And do you think that I am privy to these... I am still only mortal. Gods do not... And... Unfortunately, Luna only shares what she needs to. And that is... Does it strike you as odd that she would ask you to cut out an entire piece of our culture? Yes. And you see that and she almost... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Cl- clamps down on her uh, her speaking to you for a second. It is not for me to question the gods. I am simply here to do their whim. Even when it means imprisoning your friend for 700 years? Why would you not then- want to question? Why, why would you not question things that because Luna takes care of us all. We I don't think well, Luna wants blind faith. I don't think blue, I don't think she wants blind faith. Like I'm pretty sure she'd be happy with critical thinking. Have you spoken with her? We're not on speaking terms right now. I'm just saying that I personally uh, wouldn't want to blindly follow someone i wouldn't want people to blindly follow me just saying that's i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry you have no need to apologize Rosalind. i did what i was told to do by my god My eyes are going to shift to Orion. Did something change? Were you participating in activities that were harming our country? She looks at you. She kind of looks around everyone and she goes, I, why would I actively try to harm the country I live in? 
we have been told since birth that Nixaria is evil and destructive and harmful. She is the Satan of our religion. She can be. So can Luna. We're God's playthings. Do you not realize that? I don't. We exist mm -hmm. to give mm -hmm. worship. Our worship sustains the gods. And why would we no longer need the sustenance of Nixaria? She shrugs. Something's not adding up. I don't like any of this. This makes me very uncomfortable. If my god told me to do terrible things... I think I'd find another god. Yeah. Legit. Yeah. Is it legal That's in this country fair. to to worship other gods? Is, is that theocracy? Like, what's the... Is there a taboo It has around? become a theocracy. It has become a theocracy. It was not... Here's the thing. People... Other people do worship other gods in this, in this country. It's just... This... It's like Christianity right now, which has a chokehold on the world currently yeah. okay so it's that's... like socially weird to not yeah I, i'm guessing a, a high priestess like her she has a lot of power within the structure that is lun lunarism so i definitely wouldn't i wouldn't think like i would i would expect her to do whatever she thinks her god would tell her to do i guess i was just trying to like dig to see if it if she if this was like a power grab on her end like consolidating power or cutting did, out did, of... did you ask that question i mean i think i suggested it like what did what's in this for you kind of thing but i did, don't did know you? i did i don't know actually do you want to I... do you want to ask that question yeah like <laughs> like what... this is way of do the thing do ask that question <laughs> yeah um i guess i how do I want to say it in a way that I can get an answer that I want to get? Uh, oh, I can just say, and did you benefit? How do I manipulate it? God. Did you benefit from the removal of Nixarian doctrine? See her clench her jaw and look to the ground and fight not to answer that question. The queen looks at her and she goes, Ansa. Lysandra looks at the queen. She looks back to you. She clenches her jaw. She goes, of course I did. I became the high priestess, did I not? Oh, she was the high priestess after this. I thought she said she was the high priestess and then she canceled everything. She... What you're getting is she was told to do this. And part of doing this was be like... She started to remove the doctrine and then became the high priestess. So why would Luna be talking to not high priestess? I can believe Luna speaking to the high priestess, but if you had not... A are we just interrogating her in front of everybody? You are. <laughs> you are. Yeah. You are getting the sense that this light is a is on a truth spell. Oh, mm -hmm. I got it. That's what we felt. <laughs> um, Everyone has to tell the truth. Great. Okay. And then do you know, without a shadow of a doubt, that it was Luna who commanded you to remove Nixaria? Yes. Who was the high check? priestess? When this I happened, think, I think Orion was. Was it Orion? Lady Orion. Also, can we talk about the fact that I love that it's a girl Orion and not a boy Orion? Because I've never heard it the other way, and I'm here for it. I love My, it. I think it's so much better. Since Dad's name is Orion, it is. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I kind of like. We have a lot of names that repeat themselves, and I like it because it's like a real, like. Yeah. Oh, this bit like clearly Celine and Selena are just like Daniela and Daniela. 
Mm-hmm. Um, you Orion know, Orion I mean? and Orion is just like guy Alex and girl Alex. Yeah, and I'm yeah. kind of here for it. <laughs> it it does feel more real for sure. Like we're so careful about not repeating names in TTRPGs, but like in real life, that shit happens all the time. Like for there is a Catherine, a Katie, and a Kate in my show, and there's a Katie character. Like it's yeah. can, that's just life. Um, anyway, Delphine asked uh, Lady Lissandra if she's only ever heard one voice or more than one. She looks at you, she goes, I've only ever heard one voice. And has it done anything to you to confirm it was Luna? The magic you just channeled, did it feel like Luna to you? Did it feel divine? It did. did it do that for you? Of course it did. I was told by Luna to do what I did, and I did it. Did I benefit from it? Of course I did, and it was something I wanted. And she looks at at Lady Oran. And Lady Oran is she's she's got her arms crossed. She's that didn't like obviously she she knows all this you know what i mean this is something that has they've probably argued about many times um and the queen because i i do not know why this was done but if it's the will of luna we will uphold it but did you check did I check? Oh. She looks at you. Did I check? Me, the queen. Yeah. Uh-huh. Who came Did into you... power after this was done? Who was born after this was done? Did I check? Watch your tone. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, I promise. I'm frustrated. Rosalind needs the leash right now, not Delphine. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are going to have, I'm, I swear to you, I am in the middle of creating a pair of bangles that is going to connect Rosalind and fucking Delphra. <laughs> and they are the anti, they're like kid leashes. So when one of them runs off, it drags the other one. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Era. Rosalind. Did <laughs> You're going to have to make a strength saving throw to see if you can get knocked off your feet. Oh. It's gonna go well because Roz isn't particularly strong. It's it's fine. Neither is um, Delphra. <laughs> it's gonna be anti changing so that uh by the way, when you morph into uh whatever form that you want to take, Delphra, um, it's just going to reshape so that it stretches with you or shrinks with you. Oh fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so confused right now i think she's going to like back off the questioning but now she's like thinking i need to do some research i need to find some really old books uh the queen you see her she turns to lissandra and she goes why would this be done why why is nixaria off to the moonstone what He's benefit does it take? Sorry. 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 Oh. Sorry. Sorry. What benefit? I'm going to get us all killed. You're so <laughs> fucking close to getting knocked the fuck out. <laughs> uh, what benefit <laughs> does it give her for taking it now? And Lysandra... just almost looks defeated in this moment. She has, you can tell, she has no idea how to answer any of these questions. She just looks at her and goes, I I don't know. And maybe she does. And I look at Orion. Orion. I I had 
I had just discovered something when I was taken and imprisoned. There's, I don't, I need time. I need to look. I need time to research. I need my books. There's a celestial convergence happening. It, maybe now, I can't remember. It was 700 years ago. I, you know, you know the poem, don't you? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. <laughs> this that is one? a throwback to the beginning of our game. Mm. When I had the, when I read the epilogue by someone called Serafina Moonweaver the lo of the Lunar Chronicles. She goes, under the moon's gentle gaze, heroes rise, bound by destiny beneath starlit skies. In realms where shadows dance and secrets gleam, their path unfolds, guided by Luna's dream. At, as Sagittar's aim aligns a celestial feet, an arrow points where mortals and divine shall meet. Beneath this cosmic point, a gateway unseen, revealed during a super eclipse, once in a thousand seen. And she looks at you all. No one. What do they teach you here? What do they teach you? You ask questions. That's the thing they taught me. You know, I don't need the attitude. I'm just saying that I understand, <clears throat> and you should be asking questions because part of Nixaria's teaching is to question things. I don't follow Nix. Maybe we should. She looks <clears throat> perplexed. She goes, I had found something coming up. It, uh, uh, once every few thousand years, there's a bunch of celestial bodies that aligned to two realms, our plane and the divine. It, it's a super eclipse, a doorway somewhere that lets the divine through and mortals through to the divine. I... I hadn't had time to continue research, though. And everything has been taken from me. I'm not entirely sure where this is. Is there so somebody who wants to be here or somebody from here that wants to be there? I mean, is there a god looking to come to the material plane? Or is Your somebody is trying to go to mine. the divine plane? What does the Moonstone have to do with any of this? Again, your guess is as good as mine. Perhaps it is for power. I just assumed the one who spoke for Nixaria would know what Nixaria wants. That was Has she been who speaking you to were. me? You spoke no. to her 700 years ago before... What did she want? 700 years ago. I had just oh. discovered this. She, Nixaria, she comes to you when you're doing something wrong. She did with me anyway. If I went down the wrong path, I was told I was looking in the wrong place. Find somewhere else. Did she Normally, guide you it to led this me to the information? Of course she did. And shortly after you found this information, Luna demanded that you be taken out of power? That is how it seems. Are they the same person, though? No. They're sisters. 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 I understand. She looks at, you see her round on Lysandra for a second there and goes, what do you teach them? I'm <laughs> just saying we have like a Zeus and Hades bullshit going on yeah. right now. It's like I a Saluna and Char thing for but those who I, play like, Baldur's mm -hmm. Gate. I'm firmly going to the point where I'm like, I'm looking at Quartzly and just like staring at his eyes because like he is like a manifestation of like my primal soul. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like just nod at each other and stand up and take a step closer to Ryan. 
because at this moment, it seems like nobody really knows the truth. And she's trying to find the truth. And everyone's just doing blind faith. And being the fact that I can't remember my past, I can't go off blind faith. I need the truth. Listen. Yeah. Listen, you. Listen. Me? Are you pointing? Who are you pointing at? Who are you pointing at? <laughs> what did I do? I just, like, when I, the, I, she's literally railing against blind faith. Like, that's not this I don't one. think, she, I don't think she was meeting you. I think she was oh. meeting everyone else. Like everybody else. <laughs> like Lysandra. <laughs> like, the queen. Did, yeah. did I not just almost get myself killed because I was, sorry. Um. So what happens now? Are you going to cart this woman off for another 700 years in a closet? Are we just going to forget that that <laughs> pedestal, and I point to the new moon pedestal, is now just a paperweight or whatever they use it for <laughs> these days? The queen takes a moment. She's pensive. She goes, what happens now, I think, is... We will not tell the rest of the country what is happening here. These, it will stay in this room with the 20 people inside it. You will not worry the people yet and cause panic unnecessarily. The population does not need to know yet. Of course not. That sounds like an astute idea. Think of that. Right, She looks Rosalind? at Rosalind for a moment. She looks at Rosalind. She goes, think of that. Would you? I'm giving Rosalind the eye, like... She looks at you, she's like, would my... you panic the country that their no. food source might be leaving? <laughs> would you panic the rest of the countries I that trade with us and rely on us for extra food my and arm, healing? my fingernails into your arm right now. Just, <laughs> just fucking agree with her. Just fucking agree with her. Just fucking Look. agree with her. Just okay, don't, okay, okay, don't okay, 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 yes. I'm like There's... taking your head and going, uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. There is, listen, I, there is merit to not causing mass hysteria. Absolutely. All I'm saying is, is that, that is a wonderful idea, your majesty, and we respect your opinions <laughs> and we'll definitely not come up with our own plan behind the scenes. <laughs> are you are you alive? Zone of truth? <laughs> that second part trying was... to cover you. Sin is trying to cover you. Are you I allowing know. her? Or are you yeah, gonna yeah. are you gonna you talk? can talk over me, but Sin is basically giving a just fucking go along with it, or else we will be thrown in prison if we look like we're gonna cause problems. Fine. Fine. No, not fine. Yeah. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> it's, lucky. it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. we are going you, to we're goes, gonna pick up the actor's feet for you next level sister your job was <laughs> to recover the stolen moonstone not only did you fail that mission but you handed it to the antithesis of all we serve and she takes a step towards you she goes this is <clears> your <throat> doing and you will fix it you will go back to Timbrosa. you will meet with the cursed prince and you will find the information that we need to recover the moonstone is Do we that know? clear do we know that's where it went? She looks, she goes, the moonstone is not here, of course, but the place where all of the, she looks at you, she goes, can Brosons worship Nixaria? They do? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> they did. Um, there the, are not the many of them left. But wait, wait, wait. The prince said that he asked Salandria for help and no help came. Is that true? I was not going to risk my people. Um, Delphine raises her hand and she goes, um, with all due respect, um, we didn't purposely give it to Nixaria. Your How to say? Um, it was in your care, was it not? So oh, no, I'd like to point out that the cat is not here, so she I, cannot defend herself. The cat is here. The cat I is will... like... 
I would like to point fight. out I'm that <laughs> hold, I I actually would like to point out that if High Priestess Lysandra was not mucking around with her prisoner she would not have been shoved in there and <clears throat> and impersonated it is not well, our fault that the sounds high like everyone made a mistake was impersonated we are not allowed to question things why also, would we question the high priestess of Lys- high priestess lysandria to not be who she is in the most holy of holy places and and if anyone can effectively disguise themselves as someone else it's a goddess. So you would probably have made the same mistake. But not just that, guys. The guard, Diane, Diana, Diana. Um, she's in charge of protecting all of us. She misstepped. So if you are proposing that we she's fix in charge this, of I protecting propose, me, I propose Diana join us as she was supposed to protect our temple and failed to do so. You're trying to, you want to bring Orc Mommy with you? <laughs> no, no, I hate what? her. Why don't we, why do you hate Orc Mommy? Because I wanted to have all of the Lunar Sisters at this meeting so that everybody would know what the hell was going on. And Orc Mommy was like, no, you're on thin ice. Don't even talk to the queen. Like, you can leave. Yeah, but we can also kill her in her sleep. So it's fine. She's you, like level you are thirteen. Well, she's, she's like CR thirteen. We're level three. But yeah. like, if oh, we're, we're really, but like, if we're really, really stealthy, and we just put like a pillow over her face, would you are work? welcome to try. She, she has. I, like, you, a uh, like I said, you are welcome to try. I now have staff models <laughs> right. for everyone in this room. Sin is very stressed out right now, and is but, again trying to get us out so that we can decide what to do while not being leered at by royalty and high priestesses. Uh, Lady Orion looks at Lysandra and goes, where are my books? And Lysandra kind of gives her the side eye and it's just like, you know, you know, they're like, they still need to be wearing the We Get Along shirt. It's not like working at all. But uh, they, the queen looks at her and she goes, where are the books? Stolen when the moonstone had been taken. <clears throat> so, the queen looks at you. Then you will be going back to Tembrosa. Which perhaps is the be- for the best since you cured the prince. Maybe he will be more forthcoming with you because we didn't the ambassadors that we have, sent, we have not heard from since they've left i i don't leave understand in the really why there's so many much more powerful women in this room and you're sending us they are needed here is it because you're not you wouldn't be sad if we died along the way oh i'm i'm definitely starting to feel like that yes Back at you, babe. God. Listen, I'm not really okay. Okay, okay. I would she like can to spend the I would like to sell. You're lucky your head isn't being cut okay. off. I'm listen, sorry. Listen. As when when she says that, uh, <laughs> I feel like not, you're. You're like speaking to Henry the Eighth right now. Like, you're not really okay. Happy. I'm not <laughs> me. When she says that, you get grabbed by um, Priestess Rhea. Okay. Hold on. He grabs you by the shoulder and um, the other one of the Crescent Guardians comes over to uh, grab your other shoulder, which is uh, Lyra. Okay. I would like to I'm not I'm not going let me apologize to get out of this. Like that's not what this is. But is there a way for me to sort of calmly explain why I'm so agitated? Maybe you'll understand <laughs> why I'm so agitated. And I'm uh, not... You are welcome to try. Okay. It's frustrating that we were sent on this quest to find the Moonstone. We did everything right. We, in fact, got a we got around some ish, some some circumstances along the way that other people would have just killed their way through. We made 
did. We made allies along the way. We did everything right. And because a God who we're not supposed to question tricked us, now it's our fault. That's what's frustrating about this. Because literally anyone, including yourself, Poor child. could have done this. It's it's Poor frustrating. Child. Oh, For the hundreds of thousands of people that are going to die, I I apologize that I may be more frustrating than you in this exact instance. Poor child. You had the stone, you gave it away, and We gave it to did... list Take her away. She um... spent the night in the cell. And you can I at least roll a like a persuasion check or some shit? Like roll a persuasion check. <laughs> like it uh, is uh, high persuasion. Go that's ahead. That's fine. But at least I want to try. Roll uh, a persuasion check. <laughs> she has legitimate reasons why she's frustrated. She he might does. be Oh yeah. She may not be I going mean, along I in the am right not way. Saying, no. I am say I am, however, Katie, you, you should have seen to a queen. You should have seen how sin was. I, you did see. You watched it, like literal tears. But I do think you're you're a rogue, right? Yeah. So I think yeah. I there's a a dis. We have a different set of mannerisms around royalty. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. And I only it was only a fourteen, so it wasn't very persuasive. But I'm. It, it's it's hard. Oh, you got bardic inspiration. Oh, do I? (laughs) Go ahead. Yay! D6. Okay, I love that. Me sitting here with the chat just under our screen, it's fine. (laughs) So that's a 17. Yeah, we don't need another death. She looks at you. She goes, you will... You will be quiet for the rest of this interaction. Is that clear? Another word, and you will spend the rest of your life in chains until you decide, or perhaps I am being harsh. You will spend your life there until you realize how to speak to someone with manners. Delphra just kind of like tilts her head uh, looking at Quartzley towards Rosalind and Quartzley just kind of like scoots over, wraps himself around your like shoulder. And puts all the <laughs> and puts all of his like tails like shutting you up and but also like hiding your face. Uh, g- roll me insight. Me? Roll me insight on the queen as this happens. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Just, just. 21. 21. You, Corsley does this, and you see her kind of fight that little smile almost because Corsley is adorable. Corsley is an adorable uh, fox, and she, that was a very cute move. <laughs> and she <clears throat> brings it back together. You will rest. You will leave in the morning. This is of utmost importance. Uh, Gather your things. Because if we do not get this moon turned back, not only our country suffers, but the others attached to us as well. All of those extra herbs that we grow, all of those that people rely on to make healing potions and such, they all vanish. I'm fully here to go get the moonstone i don't want anyone to die but um do we get diana and do we get uh orion (laughs) here okay here's what we're going if you take these people with you they will be facing bigger threats when it's time to fight something oh they can't just be like our autopilot they don't get involved in combat kind of they 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 don't they will not get in involved in the combat because they're level 15 and they'll smoke show everything coming up Okay. Hey, you could you could put like a little collar on them that they can't use their spell. 
themselves. <laughs> They'll be like <laughs> the they disappear during your combats and they come yeah. back. Yeah, I because I just or they're wanna... off fighting something else that's going on while you're doing your combat. So guys, yeah. I'm so here for bringing. So the Moonstone is with um, all of Orion's work. Okay, I'm so down for bringing. Orion. You don't know where the Moonstone is. Nixaria took the Moonstone. You don't know who who We're going to go against Nixaria. So I am fully here for Nixaria uh, for. Orion, not to be like combat ready, but to be a source of information that we bring along. And if we go against Nexaria, it's also another bargaining chip. Yeah, I think I'd rather have Orion along than uh, Diana, but Diana is there because she's attractive. <laughs> that is they're all i am not saying though. no i am not saying no you can ask them to come with you so, um adelphra is gonna turn to orion and be like she's with your goddess will you come with us i have no reason to stay here Party! <laughs> and I uh, have questions when when she says that the queen looks at Diana and goes please accompany them no, <laughs> Diana's I'm like not that bad I cuddle real nice and mostly naked Diana's looking at the queen like why are you doing this to me why are you doing this to me <laughs> but uh nods to you have two NPCs that will be coming with you thick uh with that, Diana looks at you and goes, we should retire for the night then. We leave in the morning. Of course. Right. Uh, you guys head to your rooms. I, I, I don't even say you head to. Uh, you are brought to with Diana's going to drop you off. Am I in a cell? Am I in a, am I in a cell? <laughs> You're not in a cell, but you were very fucking close to being in a cell. Are we being guarded? Yes. Uh, there are still, uh, there are all still, um, crescent guardians in the hallway. Uh, it's like they don't trust us or something. Ah, uh, they, I, who, why would they not trust you? I don't know. Um, no, we are the most trustworthy uh, bitches ever. So, Elfer just opens up her door and she's like, "Anyone want to join me in here?" Yeah. You yep. see, uh, I think it's. Oh, hang on. You see, uh, Lover party. <laughs> you guys are just you. Do you all want to go in there? Yeah. I'm in a cuddle pile. As you're as you're leaving, um, Lady Orion uh, grabs your arms in just gently she goes can i stay with you is that all right delphar mm -hmm. just kind of like gives her this like stare and just goes no lies i haven't lied this entire time we've had the zone of truth on us i would we like to now inquire about Nixarian doctrine she we don't now so we're trying to help you and if you don't work with us and I find you out you lied I am not above killing you she looks at you and there's almost like a, a kind of a little a soft smile just she looks at you it's just oh child I enjoy stabbing things you'll try hmm. <laughs> you'll try and then, like, uh -huh. kind of, like, stands up and just gets close to her and be like, for my sisters, I will try. And I'll help. And she and looks I'm at you both. Be and left she, with there's, there's a moment where she puts sisters. her hand on both of your faces, just on the <laughs> side. She goes, it's nice to have sisters. I remember it being so. And then puts them down. And Delphi just kind of, like, steps back and just allows her into the room 
she I'll kind of in. say, you have to forgive them. We have been told our entire lives that Nixaria is evil and harmful and dangerous. And it's very hard to even say her name without feeling like some kind of blaspheme. Delphur just kind of raises her hand and goes, um, I've only been told for a couple of years. I don't remember anything prior to that. So if somebody wants to help me here, for all I know, I have the goddamn secret to all of our problems. You have no memories. No. It could be looked into. It would not be pleasant. And it would take... It's dangerous. Messing she died yesterday, so like, well, probably fine. Actually, that was more like... T- 30 minutes ago. Yeah. Well. yeah. <laughs> Time is um, a weird soup, as they say. She, that is, you watch that as she what they say. walks they over say. to a chair and just sits down gracefully. What are you... What are you talking about while you're in here? Are you all just like, we need to cuddle because of sads. Uh, I mean, sads and um, people mads at us. Are you judging us for that? No. Delphra not at that all. Voice though, that voice was kind of judgy. Yeah. Oh, was it? Or, judgy. or was yeah, this judgy? Kind of, yeah, it was just kind judgy. Of a judgy voice. Voice. Oh, judgy. Judgy. Yeah, that yeah. was a judgy. You're voice. a little condescending, but it's no, it's like it's, it's, uh, it's, if, it's like I want to sleep with you because I am sad and I am scared to be alone, and that's fine. Delphra, Delphra it's cute. Kind of brought everyone in cute. so that we weren't mm. alone thinking like we're better in numbers um, rather than being equestered into our own little corners. Cause if something were to happen overnight. Better to be. She, uh, Orion yeah. looks at you all and she goes, I wish to be here because I do not wish to disappear again. I actually kind of wanted to talk to all of you about something, but with Orion here, I'm not really sure. So do we her- stuff her in the closet? <laughs> Delphra just looks at Orion and she's like we will protect you but what we talk about leaves no one doesn't even go to Nixaria actually I do think it might be a good idea if we let Orion in her own room and we have plenty of time to speak with her uh maybe we should just have some just us and that way we can speak more freely and not around people we just met i agree you you watch her like it almost do you want to give me inside check as she stands Mm -hmm. i got a 11 11 you she she's (laughs) two two oh my goodness she Um, stands grabs her dresses and walks to the door uh and and leaves you don't know where she's gone she doesn't have her own room here They'll, it's but worried it's, about her. They said that she'd come with us. We can make the case. If she's not here in the morning, we can make the case that if anyone should lead us into the land of Nixaria, it should be a Nixarian. And they didn't want her here. What's the difference between banishing her and locking her away? Delphra, right, but there are priestesses that, that wanted to kill her. Delphra just kind of runs and like walks out the door and goes, one moment, please. Can we just stick her in my room? That's what I was thinking. I was right, like, yeah. <laughs> somebody in the room be like, yeah. Is it like a suite? Please. Can we just like give us some space? Like hey. you there, there you have your own rooms in in one hallway. So she oh. if you take her to your room, she can stay there. Yeah. Okay. She could stay in my room. And I'll be in her- Delphra's room with Cappy and um Rosalind. And Clover. And Clover. And Anemone. So- you guys, <laughs> you guys take her. With Delphur, you open uh, Sin's door and usher her in there. And she, she goes in there. She doesn't say a word. I'm gonna mouth to her like we're going to speak later. <laughs> she's she's not looking at you. She's gone in the room. She's closed the door. She's okay. quiet. Yeah. Anyways, what what are you doing in the room, Star? What did you want to speak about? Star? Sorry, Cappy, what did you want to speak about? Both your names are on here. Uh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> mm. 
the amount of times in Shadowrun that we just use the wrong name, like all, all the time, it's stupid. So I, <laughs> I get it. It'll um, happen. We'll call you by your normal name. <laughs> well, I, I was just thinking about what the queen said about nobody knowing. And well, I never agreed to anything. I never said anything. And Neither did maybe I. there's some people that should know just you know as as a way to i guess protect us if anything happens to us or to orion i agree though i also would like to know there could have been a legitimate reason to remove nixarian doctrine it could have possibly been very harmful and we just don't know because there's no no books, no tomes. She has been completely struck. I think we should dig into that. I don't know. Maybe she was asking everybody to sacrifice their first baby. I don't... Maybe she was asking I, I the wrong questions to the wrong people and they got mad. That is also a possibility. I know Sky, right? You know what? What? Oh, that's that's a little bit more than I was actually just thinking. Maybe if we could get uh, a message to Gilla. Do any of you have sending? I can let the sky Gilla come to Delphi's room. I'm sure she'll come with bells on. Yeah, but that... <laughs> um, I, I think maybe a more subtle approach. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe we could leave a note somewhere on our way out. A post, like a sticky note? We, um, well, no, like slip something under her door or... Could also, on if we don't get assassinated on the way, my home village is between here and where we're going. My parents are historians. I'm just saying, like, I don't think anyone's going to question the sky right me asking somebody to my room. I've done it numerous times. That, that's true. You are a slut. <laughs> Um, hey, we don't, we don't slut shame here. I'm not sh shame. No shame. No shame. I'm just <laughs> brown slut. In, in Philandria, uh, slut is a highest compliment. It is. We are proud. I don't do the walk of, of shame. I strut. It, it is the walk of, it is the walk of pride. Mm -hmm. Um, we are very sex forward in this country. So what is your plan? You want to leave a where, note? Where is Gilla's room? Uh, Clover who? looks at you and she goes, it's, um, well, her room is, is in the next building over. Um, what else is in that building? Is there something, like some sort of pretext for going into that building? Not, not really. That building, is. there's a lot more, uh, just, there's... There's training rooms, there's, um, there are, um, a lot of bunks and like, you know, rooms for, for the priestesses and there's a lunch room as well. The there's, window there's... in my bedroom, does it look onto the other building? Um, roll me a d20. Hi, yes, low, no. 15. Yes, it does. Is... The window corresponding to where my window is less than 30 feet. Um, probably not less than 30 feet. But what? there are like windows that are have lights in them that are, you know, facing you. I'm wearing boots of spider climbing. <laughs> there is there like a like plateau between the buildings there's uh like a, a little bit of a roof lower underneath the, like your window and then it would go down to the ground do we know which window is gillis attach she's... a note to an arrow and shoot it through <laughs> right or even she's just not okay so she's she attention. would not be facing you but she is on like the the right hand side going down the building she's like the third or fourth window just like stand at, at like on the on the street with like a boom box or whatever the <laughs> yeah 
whatever the like equivalent of that is and just play a song until we're having a long rest after this right yes we, <laughs> we also have a druid who could transform into a mouse or a spider and just kind of i'm just gonna use my two face steps okay face step to the ground quietly walk over and then face step into our room providing <laughs> it's 30 feet okay so if you go outside and then to the ground from that like you go out the window from mm -hmm. there to the ground would be 30 feet and then i so quietly walk across and you know what i'm just gonna turn into a freaking bug <laughs> okay so I'm you're gonna, gonna turn into a bug fly. okay you're going to gilla's room yes okay um let's see if her window is open i don't remember is gilla that funny the half fart? Yeah. the fart yeah the fart mm -hmm. yeah okay she's the fart yeah i love the fart that was. delphra is going to her room okay at night. I dream. the window <laughs> is open just a crack so i'm a fly so i'm gonna go in there they went the light is off the window is open you go in there she is in her bed asleep okay I'm, I'm gonna go or at least seeming to be asleep anyway what do you do and i'm gonna go actually i'm gonna go can i speak in as i'm no that? no okay you have to turn back oh she can fart it's fine here's hoping she can bring me with her um she cannot she, oh, she cannot yes. fart you only have one wild shape yeah because i summon quartz uh... Um, what do you do? You are now there as a fly. It is it is dark. Do you have dark vision? As a fly? I don't know. Can I be a firefly? <laughs> you have, okay, you're gonna light up in there. You're a firefly. I'm gonna light up, that. and then I'm going to, I'm gonna I'm gonna with my little bulb of light. I'm gonna quickly right in cursive above her face delphra's room so you you do this give me um give me a perception check as you're doing this you should have just brought the letter with you i'm a fly <laughs> i can't carry that uh you know could have been your, a carrier pigeon hey, all of your 21 transforms with you when you transform you could have put it in your pocket and but then I float over and then turned into yourself handed the letter have wild shape to get back okay so one. as you right now as I, you i summon quartzly but i rolled a 21 as you blink um and and cast make a little light uh you notice that uh the covers are up over her head um and as you're looking at this you're like that's I've done this way too many times. This that's not a body. That's just a pillow and in the shape of a halfling. Times. What did you take before? You snuck out. Don't even. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I take you as the troublemaker. Um, Leroy Jenkins. I'm not the only one. <laughs> you know, you all are. Uh, and you're realizing, oh, that's not <laughs> How actually dare you. her. But as as you are realizing this, you hear the door open and a, a little form uh, comes through the door and closes it as quietly as possible. And Gilla has, uh, as of, you know, an hour ago, been lighting fires to lead them away from you guys. <laughs> so Delbert just like, Delbert like looks at her and she's like, goes like right at eye level, like, like, this little bug just staring at her with like a blinking light scoots back flying like away from her face at a swatting range and spells okay. delphra's room that and is a big cat you see her you see her kind of like uh now and she i don't know what's happening are you drunk bug are you drunk bug No. She's watching you like there's no 
you're just making like you're just flying in things like you don't have a trail you don't have like a, anything that stays in the sky so she's watching this bug just kind of zoom. is there a desk in the room do you know there's a desk Morse in the room code and can you turn a- your butt off on and off <laughs> do you is that something you want to try is there is there ink on the desk uh there's a bottle of ink it's uh, got a quill it- in it it's mm-hmm. open uh, it's got a quill in it. Okay. As 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 this little like firefly, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna like coat myself in ink, and then on the desk, not even on freaking paper, mm-hmm. I'm gonna write Delphers room. Go now. Okay, so you write. Takes you a really long ass fucking time to do this, as you continuously have to go back and dip it. And she's standing there the whole time, letting you get out the word Delphra. And she goes, "Oh, that crazy bitch. Oh, I'm so." fucking hot um and you write this out now and she's like god i like when they're crazy and um i need you to roll me a con saving throw as you're dipping yourself in ink and you're a tiny little bug oh fuck oh i need to go find uh fire oh i had it half written i got too distracted uh firefly is there a firefly just use your stats for this. Oh, it's okay. probably better than whatever Firefly have has as con. Oh, well, probably not because it's a zero. Okay, oh, it could I be got, minus. Hmm. I got a fifteen. Oh, you shake it off. You, the The bug literally shakes off the <laughs> the thing, uh, the ink, and you fly back. Uh, would, and arrive. I, I would like to say I. I imagine as Delphra flies back, we're all like in a little circle with our toes and we're painting our toes and just like <laughs> painting my painting my claws. It's taken yeah. her like half an hour to send this message and write uh-huh. this out. Um, you guys get back, you're painting your toes. Delphra, you <laughs> pop back into regular form and you guys wait for uh for Gila to arrive. <laughs> well, I almost want to be like, I, no, it doesn't work. It's not have access to the kitchens. Never mind. Um, as you're as you're waiting, you hear the alarm, the fire alarm go off somewhere else in the building. Oh my god! It takes about fifteen minutes before this this head pops out into your window, and then she rolls through. It's so much harder <clears throat> to do when you're not gas. Hi. Hi, pretty kitty. And she picks up Clover and gives her a snuggle. Oh. I did not expect you all to be here. I was kind of hoping that this was a booty call. Hi. Um uh, just kind of leans down and goes, later. I'm so glad I, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> love you um what can i do for you um well a lot of things have happened and i think you should know about them because we're all in danger and they didn't want anybody to know and i think that's always a bad thing when they don't want anybody to know so uh, i think you should know and um but you should be careful with this information keep it um, close to the chest until it can't come back that we told you I, have all. I know that the moonstone was stolen. I know the moonstone was stolen. That's right. Not that's stolen is the right word to use. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's that's Thank actually the first stolen. time I've heard somebody that say that. Correct. You're that is, welcome. That is, that is the correct way to put that. Unlike that fucking bitch. I think I'm gonna sit uh, her down and I'm gonna like explain to her just to to save us time i'm just going to explain to her what we learned about orion about exposition. Saria. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. i cast like, exposition. you go through the <laughs> whole spiel <laughs> with her <laughs> yeah i go so this is what happened and the camera is going to go off and then it's going to like look out the window <laughs> and there's going to be like a cat chasing a bird and then it's going to come back <laughs> and that and that is how it happened <laughs> that's so fucked up this is the thing Holy they told us. Holy shit! They do much exposition, officer. They do not want the kingdom to know 
because they say it could cause panic. And that's true. It could cause panic, but it also it means would. it means that our it will. government uh, has secrets. <laughs> I, I mean, that never well, happens. Except, ever. of course, well, government doesn't. In case is all I'm saying. In case something <laughs> happens to us, it might need to come out. Can we trust you to know the right when and who? I, you see her stop for a second. She looks back. She, eh. I, I know don't who let, I could tell. Don't, I know who I could tell. Don't let them know that you know, or you might disappear. We just put you in a lot of danger, actually, by telling you this. Sorry. Well, it, it, she looks at Delphi. It is so worth it. Yep. Okay. I'm back. Um, listen, I know who to tell. Yeah, I got it. I, I, I know. Who, I know. I, d- I think we don't know if we want this information to come out just yet. I don't think unless Cappy, you were about to say something. Well, I, I just think that like sometimes when there's a secret that like the government or somebody doesn't want you to know that it's better if more people have the secret because then they can't get rid of it. Like they tried to do with Nixaria. I mean, and it's not really going to be a secret own. for long. Eventually, our crops are going to start failing, and shit's no, going to start going wrong. Se- Wait, was it was the secret that we're trying to keep that the Moonstones got, or is the secret that Nixaria used to be widely worshipped and respected? Both, right, Both? right. That's the secret. Yeah, that's that's what I was I talking thought, about. I thought I that mean, was the I'm, secret. I'm really worried more I think about it's the a fact bit that both. the Moonstone uh nixaria that's fine whatever uh, oh you do i you. don't i don't mind people not knowing about the moonstone until we take care of that i just thought i they, mean the whole orion we... thing and keeping a priestess under lock and key for no that's fucked up don't, don't get me wrong like that's super fucked up but did we specify what we weren't telling people like no, we did, did you actually... ask maybe if it was we like actually... the moonstone that we're trying to save or just like oh. do we care the like, I was just trying well, to stay out of prison. I Scarlet assumed that they were like, we can't let this Lady Orion. I don't want the, anybody to know about that because if they find out our religion's locking up uh, conflicting doctrine, that could look bad. That's what I you assumed. Have, I mean, <laughs> who? Christ, is it how faith? many people are going to believe that? is the question that you have that like you know what i mean people who you don't believe things easily there's people who believe the world is flat no 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 i mean how many people are going to believe <laughs> that people. they locked her up you don't know like you it might not that might not be something that they're worried about you didn't okay. ask I, yeah that's what i thought they were talking about that's what i assumed so i i will point I guess I'm... maybe don't say anything unless something happens to us. If how about I get you guys like a scroll of sending and you tell me if something happens, and then we can like just yeah uh, let it go just, like, and maybe like Delphi's come and help digits. you. I would yes. Delphi, I love you so I much. I mean, whatever the very whatever the the the, the role playing equivalent of that is. I don't know. Can she like? Is there a spell to like? Have, like, sending. In my yeah, bed. sending stones. Sending stones. You could sending find stones. sending stones. Um, she's just looking at you like, yeah, I'm just, I'm here for you if you ever like. Uh, <clears throat> do you want us to leave? I mean, because so much. We could go to my totally can. so much. Yeah. I want you to leave so badly. It's not even funny how badly I want you to leave. We totally can. Yeah, yeah. Let's you know, just. Let, we'll yeah, go. you know what? I like pull the little thing between my toes out that keeps them like separated during the <laughs> <Yeah>. painting <laughs> go let's go keep orion company you guys so you guys all get up and uh, leave she squishes uh clover a little bit and goes i'm so excited and then like let's clover go i just hit my own fucking camera um <laughs> and you guys head into Sin's room, and as you like switch from one room to the next, uh, you see the Crescent Guardian is watching you. Is just like, what are you doing? We're well, not twelve. Could have fooled me. That wouldn't be hard, now would it? Delphine just calls from her room. Hey, 
earplugs in. And like, I almost <laughs> want to roll. I almost want to roll stealth and see if I can just like disappear you wanna, into the do night. Do you want to try it? I I yeah. roll stealth, and I'm gonna this have would be her really fun for me. Perception. Give me one second while I find her. Yeah. Is that how stealth works? You just don't know. You <laughs> you can roll stealth and see if you just hide in the fucking shadows. I am down for that. Sixteen. Uh, give me a second while I find her. Not as high her. as I would like, but it's not low. Sixteen. Uh, Moonstone Matriarchy. Where the fudgicals are they? Oh, they're I just cool. want so so much. Okay, just I'm like, gonna roll. I'm gonna roll. End of the night. I can see you standing up against the wall. I can see no, you. No, you can't. No. Yeah. Okay. You're supposed no. to do this. I, I didn't see hear you. that. They can't see me. Do this, sister. Wait. Okay. No. So the person that is there right now <laughs> that you are trying to hide from, I'm just going to tell you which one that you are trying to hide from. Okay. Uh, right. um, is that muscle mommy? It's not muscle mommy. She's gone to bed because she's got shit oh. to do. But. Rude. You are trying to hide from Lyra, who, by the just FYI, is a soul knife rogue. You just okay? Like, she's uh, all psychic well, and whatnot, and a, at a higher level than you. She's sitting there like, I I can see you. I'm it's just double checking, man. I, you know, I, I sometimes just feel like when you're at a, when you've been doing this longer than me, I just want to make sure that you're sharp on your skills. Just keeping his keeping keep keep okay. sharp. Okay. Lyra, well, darling, you, you are as and... sharp as a soul knife. <laughs> Go to bed, people, please. Rush yes. blows I'm kiss. doing my job. Can you just make it easy for me? <laughs> no. You didn't really make it easy for us now, did you? <laughs> We're bullying the NPCs. We need to go in our room. <laughs> yeah, you need to go in your room. She's like, she's like, I I could probably knock them out. I could probably, that's what that's what you're getting from her face right now. She's like, I could just knock them out. That would make my job so much easier. Um, I think we're gonna take a quick break. Sorry, I had to wait till Daniel yeah. got out of the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I, I, my bladder is I feel that. small. I, I... It's small. Daniel! 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, we are back from our uh, break. So. You guys are going into. You guys have split off. Yes, you're going into your. Uh, into is it Sin's room? Yeah, mm -hmm. my room. It's so meticulously like clean in there. Like everything is folded perfectly. It looks like an OCD high discipline. It's almost like. You guys... uh, do you have books in there? Am I allowed to have books in there? Of course you oh, are. It's not oh. a prison. Okay. Okay. I would have all script like luna scripture prayer books remember i've been on a penitence yeah uh, i have removed mostly anything that could be considered like recreational because that is like taking away from my focus i'm on a mormon mission right now guys i am okay. serving a mormon mission no secular music allowed no books no tv it is all luna for the last like five years <laughs> you see you see when you walk in uh lady orion sort of at your bookshelf just looking through things and moving through like the copies and stuff does she look disgusted or does she look kind of like does she um give me an insight yeah okay i guess i'm trying to figure out does she have a problem with luna or did the two sects uh get along is i guess what i'm trying to figure out i got an 18 she looks concerned Oh, because this could be she looks... this. Uh, I'll it's... walk up behind her and be like, "These have been my uh, books since childhood. This is the doctrine that we've been taught. Does it look familiar to you?" She nods most most of it. Yes. I see. Well, I think we need to get rest, sisters. You are make yourself at home. You, she looks to you and she goes, you have nothing of your own in here. What do you mean? It's just the room of a zealot. I am not here. Perm I don't live here. I, I live in Moon's Shadow. I am visiting uh, for some training.
she puts it, it kind of takes her hands away and folds them and will walk over to the window and look out. Uh, what do you guys do? I'm getting clean sheets for everybody. You're getting clean like, sheets. You get who wants my you bed? Get clean who wants sheets, my couch? You set up little beds. You get little like you these like little mats that so you they can't they don't have to sleep on the stone floor. Yeah. Oh, is it stone in there? I thought there would be some nice rugs. <laughs> you have a rug. You do have okay. a rug. It's just does it's not like wall to wall. It's like an gotcha. area rug. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll take the floor. Um. Who who wants the bed? Yeah. So uh, Rosalind's gonna look at Sin in complete seriousness and say, "Sister, I have a question for you." Yes. Big spoon or little spoon? I sleep alone. <laughs> well, there's... A- she lo- she blushes pretty <laughs> brightly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll just be over here in case you change your mind. Anemone is like, I- I'll be the big spoon. <laughs> and uh, and brings over Clover, who, who cuddles in with you okay. uh, as well. So Aww, you, you've got your cuddle, like little sandwich, kind of puddle. There yeah. is like a it. little, like a little prayer rug shrine thing in one of the corners that Sin will habitually kind of like kneel where she's always she's been praying like pretty rigorously the five years, these past five years. But she's not going to actually pray this time. She's just going to kind of kneel and stare at all of her things. I just, just imagine kinda... Clover walking over and going. <laughs> Yeah, your, Clover is. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah she sits and getting herself like, comfortable. Like, uh, like mm, oh, oh, no nails, no nails. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's like when you pet them too well, they kind of grab and bite a little playfully, and you're like, no, I don't have, I don't have a hide, I don't have a hide. Um, all right. So you guys are settling down for the night. Okay. Uh, Delphra, are you? I for. My own sake, and you know, because I'm nosy. Do you fade to black? I I, I fade to black. Oh, okay. Woo! You have you have made a very happy half league. She's just like yeah, it's so hot. <laughs> Is there oh, sisters? She's so hot. She's so hot. Uh, she. Do you kick her out? No. So she will cuddle with you then. Um, you you spend the night. Okay. So here's what happens as you all settle down for the night. Your Can we just crusty- say it? sex just happened in our game, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> it's bound to happen sometime. We just set the tone. Episode we got three. naked <laughs> on our very first session. Yeah, but that was asexual yeah. nakedness. That was just I'm you know, just saying we set maybe the tone not asexual for everyone. Who knows? For there to Ooh. be a sexual situation. I'm That's sorry. True. Set the tone uh, early. You, you guys got naked and you at. You asked, you just asked a fully clothed sin to cuddle and she went bright red. You're telling me it was asexual for everyone? I don't think so. (laughs) Sin kept her eyes down. Yeah. (laughs) No distractions. Uh, No distractions. Follow the cause. (laughs) For the for the night, you are under the watchful eye of uh of Lyra. She's out. Just pacing the halls in her skin tight black bodysuit with a, the, a hot, the hot rogue out, outside her door. Yeah. She's outside your door. She has um, her hair a, dragging against the ground because it's a so bright blue, blue uh, soul <laughs> knife that she spins as she walks. A warning of earplugs. <laughs> oh, yeah. She did not. She needs to be able to hear. So she who's, heard everything and she who's was like, louder? Dang, yeah. Gilliard who's Delta. louder? Do we want to roll? Sure. I got was, there, was there wild shape? You got involved? a seventeen. What did you get? Thirteen. So she, you, you, you just you broke her. She was like, "This is I've been waiting all. I've been waiting for this. This is great. Oh my god, you're amazing. God, the crazy ones know how to do it best." Um, and I think um, uh, Sin definitely put like some noise canceling headphones on. <laughs> Uh, Rosalind, as you sleep, your dreams are full of red circle, circular, uh, like phosphine. So, uh, the floating lights that you see when you like close your eyes every mm-hmm. now and then, 
um, you get just red, red little circles that just won't go away. And they are very, very familiar to you. Um, almost like you know them. And when you wake up, you wake up with a, like a sense of anxiety deep in your chest. I mean, that's every day. So. That's every day. I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> I feel okay. like you're you're like thinking about the situation you were in earlier today, and you're like, "Wow, that could have gone really bad." <laughs> I could have died. I you could have died. You could have died. That I didn't is, get my sister's kill. Of. I need to. I need to. I need to do better by my sisters. I could have gotten them so messed up. <laughs> you know, that doesn't sound like something she would say. No, nah, never mind. They're fine. No, more like one or two problems. Sin's got such a stick of breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, she won't even let me cuddle her. Next to you is, you know, just breathing into your hair is a beautiful Amazon of a woman just breathing into my snor- hair. She's 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 like she's got like, she's cuddled into you. She's got her head leaning against yours. Just <laughs> Wait, and there's, uh, there's Revan in the chat. She says, uh, Anemone is yeah. super snoring. Yeah. So it's like, uh, that's okay. I'll sleep got, anyway. Like, my ears, like, oh. You yeah. have to she's roll her unconscious. Over so her tongue doesn't like hit the back of her throat. <laughs> at some point, at some point, um, Clover has like shoved her head to the side and then put like her hand over her mouth, her paw over her mouth, so that she's just like, <laughs> what if she just puts her whole backside like just <laughs> <laughs> right in um uh, on the other side of your head clover is wrapped around you uh <laughs> keeping her paw on uh anemone's mouth because she got tired of it kathy where are you when you went to bed i think i was uh actually on the floor um and i now have both of my ears folded and I'm holding them down because there is so much noise happening and it is very loud. A hundred percent. You have your head, you know, your ears like that. And that's how you slept that night. Um, when you wake up, you are covered in a thin layer of frost. All of us? No, nope, just, just, just Cappy. Oh, but we're all in the same room. Uh-huh. You are. Is it? Do I feel cold? Like there's there's like a, a slight chill, but it's not bad. It's just a, it's a very light frosting of ice. Can I roll it's like an arcana dusting. or something to see if this is magical? Yeah, roll me arcana check. Um, eleven. Eleven. I mean, shit. It could have come from you. You're not really sure how that happened. Maybe you had a bad dream. It's true. It's true. That wild magic. Huh. Um. Sisters, did you see anything last night? I'm. I'm covered in frost. Are we all awake or are we asleep? Oh, did is this everybody's awake or just me? One moment before you ask. Mm -hmm. Uh, Delphra. As you slept. (laughs) In the ethereal glow of moonlight of a moonlight meadow moonlit meadow god damn my words the air is filled with a a sweet fragrance of blooming flowers soft grass tickles your bare feet as you stroll through the serene landscape as you explore the meadow transforms subtly the flowers vibrant hues to deepen to more ominous shades the once gentle breeze turns low a haunting whisper comes from it. Suddenly, a distant rumble disrupts the calm. Dark clouds gather overhead, shrouding the moon and plunging the meadow into an eerie darkness. The flowers wilt, and the color drains away as if sucked into the encroaching void that is coming up behind you. Panic sets in. A once inviting meadow morphs into a nightmarish landscape. Desperation takes hold as you run through the terrain. The once familiar meadow, now a maze of thorns and twisted trees. Heart pounding, you glance over your shoulder and and catch a glimpse 
of a figure pursuing you in the nightmare. Yet its form remains elusive, a shapeless darkness that seems to devour the very essence of the meadow itself. Fear grips you as you sprint, the thorns tearing at your clothes and twisted trees closing in around you. You awaken with a start, heart racing, safe from the dream, but lingering, the lingering unease, vivid in your mind, in your arms as you jerk awake, a sleeping halfling resting on your chest. She jumps. Are you okay? Is everything okay? Are we... And she was looking around. Elfer's just kind of like, yep, eyes wide. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a roll for her. Just as you jerk awake. She looks at you and she goes, she puts a hand on your cheek. She goes, what's wrong? What happened? Hey. Everything's gonna be okay. What 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 happened? Delph was just like, like kind of just pats her and just like, nothing, nothing. Everything's fine. Oh, uh, okay. Do do you uh, want me to go? No, no. Let's let's go see my sisters. Yeah. And like Delph just kind of like gets up and puts all of her clothes on, missing yeah. her underwear and. Heads over. Yeah, she takes she takes a little bit longer to get dressed uh, before joining you. Uh, Sin. Mm. Your dreams are full of these toxic orange eyes and darkness and nothing more. When you awake, you find Lady Orion standing at your window, gazing out at the temple grounds, her hands res- resting on the windowsill. What do you do, guys? It's the the whole day has passed, or the whole sleep night has the passed. Night. You have slept for the night. Uh, You've slept I, your eight hours. I do have a question. Mm-hmm. In your setting, mm-hmm. do elves have trance, or do they sleep yes. like normal they people? They do trance. Okay, so I wasn't. I didn't sleep. I slept for four. I I, tr- I okay, meditated so you, for four hours. You trance for four hours <laughs> before waking up. Yeah, uh, well before your sisters. Okay, and that's how you find Lady Orion. And she hasn't moved since she's moved there. She's moved. She's just I mean, back at the window. Oh, okay. Uh, can I see her face? No, you can see like the a half of her face as she's looking out over the grounds. I'll like slowly like approach from behind. They look the same as you remember. No, they don't. Yes and no. There's This building has been here. The one behind it was not. Hmm. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Thank you. Still don't understand everything with Nixaria. I don't fully... Well, I don't trust Ixaria. I'm sorry. But... No. I mean, never trust a god. See, that is interesting, because... We were told that we should trust in Luna, and I have trusted in Luna. I used to be a... Well, not as high priestess as you, but I... I was the spiritual leader of my village. For a very long time. Moonshadow. Yes. It's a quiet place. I know it well. Do you? Yes. Yes. I I am actually from Umberfell. There's a village that was adjacent to yours on the other side. It used to come and go quite frequently. Oh, really? We typically avoid Umberfell. Why is that? It is a place of shadow. I suppose. She doesn't know anything that's happened. I, I'm kind of putting that together. Um, 
Yes, we're told to stay away from those woods. There are dangerous things in those woods. Dangerous things everywhere. Yes. No place for a child to get lost, I guess you could say. She looks at you. I'm going to roll to see if she understands what that means. I think Sin is thinking, I don't know why the fuck I even said that. That was such a stupid thing to say. <laughs> she looks and she says, what parent would name their child Sin? It is not my name. I am here on penitence. I am a raw raven crest. Until I am forgiven, I must bear my sin. I must bear my shame and atone, and I cannot hide my sin. She takes a minute and she goes, Ravencrest. I think I might know your parents. Are my parents old? <laughs> they are. They're a couple. Yeah. I, I mean, so they have the job of being um, the head historian and the head librarian. They're not. They they are old. They're I'm old wondering elves. if they would, because if they were, I assumed they were post Nixarian heresy. Uh, for them to be like, yeah, you need to go and uh atone for your sin. Um, but maybe they know something that I didn't know, and that's kind of scary to sin. Like, how would you, how would you know them? I've spent much time at the library there that's where i got the books that i needed when i discovered the um i think it was called the astral eclipse in the book my parents hmm. they know that a high priestess of the new moon exists i would assume so nobody knows you don't understand. This is you existing changes everything. I I have no words for what has happened. Perhaps Sin. they were not given a choice. Is it possible that the population was told that Nixaria is evil and they just went along with it? I would hope not, but it is possible. Is Nixaria evil? She oh. acts evil. She acts evil. Look, I've spoken to Nixaria. She acts evil. Have you? Shit. Have you now? She and what has she said to you? I feel like, okay, so um, since hair is like, she has half her head shaved and it's all hanging over and she's like a little emo girl like this all the time. Mm -hmm. And she has a bright, like, silver eye, which is not out of the ordinary for moon elves, I don't think. It's just like, as common as a blonde having a blue eye. She's going to like draw her hair and show her jet black eye, which is like a mark of Nixaria. You think she's done this to you? I don't think. She takes your chin and kind of like looks into you. I'm... Just not, it's very gentle. It's yeah. not like she's, like, it's very gentle. She moves your hair. So you were raised to believe that Nixaria is evil, and that we shouldn't mention her. You think that she's done this to you? For what reason? I, I was a priestess of Luna. Mm -hmm. And during a very dire time, during the new moon, Luna did not answer. She did not answer my pleas, but someone else did. And I accepted her help. And she marked me. And that is heresy. I don't regret what I did. It was important. But now I must atone. So in a and time I... of need, when you had no one, and 
your God had forsaken you. Our God Someone. has no power during the new moon. It was not Luna's fault. She just couldn't hear me. And I couldn't she wait for weak. her. She is weak, but she is never powerless. Not truly. I couldn't wait for her. I couldn't wait. This is not... This is not Nixari is doing. There is no magic of hers that is traced on that eye of yours. I get That is power. simply something. You may get your power from her, but that your your appearance is simply something you are doing because you are conflicted. This is so you. Sid is confused because that eye turned black the second that she accepted that power. So she's like, uh huh. She's confused. She's like, she's kind of feeling like Orion. You believe you've made a deal with something that is evil. Is she not? She's very bitchy. Let's just be honest. She's very she's, bitchy. She's not a saint. Evil. I don't see her as evil, no. Well, everyone else does. And here I am trying to redeem myself and how's that working for you i think it is going fine the sisters have not thrown me out they treat me with kindness and respect all of them do and she gestures to like the sleeping uh her sleeping sisters they do not judge me even though it's in their right they protect me they put their life on the line for me even lissandra has herself. shown me kindness has she? And is she yes. who named you Sin? I accepted that upon myself. I served as a priestess for a long time. I understand the rituals and I understand the protocol. I did not do this unwillingly. She seems very convicted. Like she's saying like this. I mean, I'm a big girl and I made this choice on my uh -huh. own and I, I am accountable. I hold myself accountable. <laughs> she when you when you do that, she turns away. To like look directly out the window and she goes, the room of a zealot. And and almost is dismissing you. It's, is there anything that you do? Uh Sid is a little offended. Uh <laughs> she's gonna be like, I have to go apply my gothic eyeliner. <laughs> uh Cappy, you wake up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You all are you all are awake by now. Is there she any Spider-Man like free moment? <laughs> you had a what moment? She had her Spider-Man three moment. I don't know yeah. what that reference is. So in the original trilogy with Toby Maguire, uh -huh. everything is like the first two were, were fine. And then the third one, like he gets he, I know the, like the gist the, of the what happened. I believe, I believe it's just the symbiote, the symbiote, symbiote, I might be saying it wrong, but it like infects him. And all of a sudden, like the way that they do it physically is like all of it, like Toby Maguire basically goes from like normal Toby Maguire to like, oh, like, yeah, 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 Toby yeah. Maguire. It's black so I put my, strange. I it is black suit too. But like at first, he's just like, ah, I am, I, I am emo. <laughs> Yeah, Sin <laughs> covers her eyes. She looks like she's ready for her MySpace yeah. selfie. Uh, she she teases the top of her hair as tall as it can go. Yeah. And so you as guys wake up, this, you just see oh. hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> as you're doing this, Orion is like, I don't know what this, these fashions are, but I don't like them. Uh, <laughs> she, Orion, like the picture you showed us, she is the most goth like just so, she is the most so goth, goth. But she is clean she is so clean put <laughs> like like her hair is slicked back every hair is in place you know what i mean like without hairspray oh. no 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 no. <laughs> she, 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 she's just like her hair is just that nice right mm -hmm. just like, i took eldritch back. blast not prestidigitation <laughs> i have to do this the old-fashioned way <laughs> uh you wake up covered in ice a second later frost a second later uh Delphra walks through the room and with her with her heels and her fingers. <laughs> <laughs> the strut of pride. Uh and I think I guess that's what we'll call it for this session. 
Okay. Yeah. And you guys can begin your travels the next session. Back to the cursed prince. That okay. guy. Hopefully uh, he he's going to hit. help you. He saw both okay. of your tits. You you were like, first you were like, just the one. Isn't it nice? And he's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, and then you were like, how about both? And he was like, <laughs> I think I need a little bit more to get going than just a tit flash. Uh, he's thanks. like, my but... court is full of topless bitches. Why? What do Listen, you think? <laughs> mine are the best. We've discussed this. Mine are the best in like the entire. She has, yeah, it's canon. Yeah. No, no, like, Rosalind really does have the best ugly. tits. He just went, what are you doing? This is, you're literally, ta- you're, she really you're does take, have the best tits. You're taking them out while you're just talking to people. Yeah. We, Why might, we might go into fight and you're just like, here's one. Yep. <laughs> we're very, we're very body positive. Babe bots from Austin Powers. Yeah. I think canonically sin is super flat. I do. Cause like, she's like, that's not how you've drawn her. Yeah, did fair. I draw her with tits? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah she busty lady. She's thin, but she it. busty. You can always change it. You know what? Maybe because my real life boobs are super big. That in my mind, the boobs I gave her were small. I was like, these are small <laughs> boobs. <laughs> they're just a, they're just in comparison to my own in real life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll we'll take this up next week. <laughs> I will not be here next week. Also, same. So, so I guess, okay. yeah. Fill me in of whatever juicy tidbits of Tit-bits. amazingness. Tidbits. <laughs> Tidbits. Um, I may have Daniel run your characters while you're gone. Uh, in in combat. Let, okay, so that is a little bit less. Bonus my- action hex. I I'm a hex. Just hex them and shoot them. That's that's yeah. what just hide does. after hide after every single action. Just hide. Just hide. Just action, hide after every. Hide. Okay, action. Uh, hide. We're taking notes. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me. Don't kill my character. Thin voice. Okay. That's fine. Your tits out. She is legit. She is legitimately like she has reasons for being angry though. She's just she's not just mopey. Like, oh no, you work. have all the reasons to be angry. Sin is furious, but she's yeah. also been around royalty and decorum yeah. that she knows uh these people could end our lives and kill all our families. We should shut the fuck up and uh plan behind the scenes what we're gonna do and just say, Yeah, we're totally you gotta regain some side. of the strength you've lost. Yeah, like hey. We we are totally yeah you are so right it's all bullshit but yeah uh, yeah, oh, yeah so the, yeah the Sin rogue doesn't like, know as much. <laughs> Sin is gonna teach you how to oh is she through courtly life. I'm gonna we're gonna go through like one of those. Uh, uh, have you seen Dirty Rotten Scoundrels where he yeah. has to has to teach um the 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 graceful con man has to teach the not so graceful con man how to fit in with high society and be a better but like con our man. version but like our version will be a little gayer a little bit gayer obviously. i'll be like i'm going to teach you how to dance <laughs> <laughs> ballroom dancing <Whew>. yes <laughs> you get these like long lingering looks of just it's just passion Mm, um clearly i'm here for it uh i guess we'll say goodbye i'm jessica aka i sneeze stars and i have been your shenanigan sovereign uh delphra who are you who did you play i'm delphra also known as mommy kalik also known as nowhere on the internet um that needs to be your like username at nowhere on the internet mm-hmm. when you finally yeah, get on the internet really- you should just get that dot com and then get an email <laughs> yeah yeah i'm down anyways um you can't find me anywhere except for saturday nights uh so uh if you want more fade to black apparently and all that fun crap from delbra come join us and uh other- oh we oh, lost her <laughs> uh go oh, ahead go and we're gone. Oh, she's back. Oh, you're back. <laughs> it was the two typing. <laughs> Again. Again. Uh, yeah, Katie, take oh, it away. Husband. No, I'm Delphra. Hi, I'm Katie. 
Um, Dunge Dungeon Mr. Skitty on all the things. Uh, yeah, I played Rosalind Delara tonight, who didn't die. Almost yet. though. Uh, so close. Happy. <laughs> I've been Cappy tonight. Uh, my name is Star, and you can find me at Star Mom C on TikTok or everywhere else. Characters without stories is my podcast, so check it out. And I think that's everyone. No, Scarlet, Scarlet, just ignored Hi. you. Sorry, ignore me. Ignore me. I love it. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I'm Scarlet. You can find me tomorrow at twitch.tv slash Scarlet sixty four. I am DMing out of the abyss. Uh, with an amazing cast so you should come watch them be amazing uh other than that i make dessert dragon stickers and prints are coming soon because i'm going to next saturday be at the uh, uh an event in arizona selling uh stuff uh i play sin the very very emo uh faith crisis elf so zealot. i love that you're getting called a zealot I know. Uh, like, she's so confused by being called. She's like, what? I'm just doing the normal thing. I can't wait to go down this arc. This is going to be so fun deconstructing my religion. And oh my God, finding, same. Finding more about Nixaria. <laughs> What's, it's funny because, like, Nixaria is, she is a bitch. Like, yeah, yeah she is. She she's is a bitch. bitch. Orion has not lied to you about that. She's like, yeah. Yeah, she is a bitch. I just, yeah, I, Scarlet is so excited to go down this exciting, uh, path. yeah, I don't think Nix is the bad guy. She's not a bad guy, but she's also not a good guy. Let's be honest. Morally, well, I don't think Luna is a good guy. That's I what think I think. Luna I think be... we're starting to find out. Like, Nyx was down here and Luna was down here, and this is neutral. And I think we're going to see this like phases of the moon. Yep. <sighs> yep. Look at that. Might Look be what a moon everything. goddess does, right? Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're going to see. Okay. Thank you for inviting me. This is my favorite game I've been a player in. And I'll uh... have you here. Thank you. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye, everybody. Love you. Bye. 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 bye.